Fisher, what brings everyone out today? So uh, Donna Smith, who's in our uh, soil conservation district and takes care of ag preservation for the county, she uh, reached out to the governor back in February and told him she appreciated that uh, the money was in the budget for preservation this year and she wanted to continue to see him uh, supported in the budget in future budgets. Um, as you know, if you watch any of our commissioner meetings, uh, we are big proponents of ag preservation here in Queen Anne's County, preserving farmland so that it can uh, generationally produce. Um, so the governor's coming out today. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, you get a big crowd when the governor's coming. That's right. To uh, take a look at what the money's going to so that he has a you know, first-hand knowledge of, of what it's being used for and the importance of it. And hopefully, I think, I, I think it sells itself, so we'll see. We're yeah. going to five stops today. Different, uh, different types of ag uh, for him to see, and uh, all but uh, one of the properties is in preservation, so um, should be a good day. Probably going to discuss several different things. We're going to talk about land preservation and the funding that the governor has given us. We're coming up on almost 89,000 acres in the county that's in land preservation, which is 42% of our ag land. That's amazing. It is amazing, and it's very important to keep that funding coming, so we felt like if we talked to the governor, about what that means and how important it is to keep that funding coming. But what better way than to have them actually come to a farm yes. that's in land preservation and how important it is. And the secondary reason for the tour is through Maryland Department of Agriculture, we have conservation grants, which as we are standing on this concrete pad in front of this poultry house, it keeps the manure focused to the poultry house and it doesn't leach out into the ground or the groundwater. Wow. And yeah. Maryland Department of Agriculture cost shares on that. So they help pay for these concrete pads to keep the manure here so we don't pollute the bay. So the reason why we have the booties on, it's very important for biosecurity. In the past, you've heard about avian flu with the poultry yeah. industry, that it's very contagious and it's high, highly pathic, that it goes through the air. So we put our booties on even though we don't have chickens in today just to make sure that we're secure with the biosecurity laws. Love so Governor Moore, we trade in our suits in the city for <laughs> booties and some fields today. What brings you to Queen Anne's County? Well, we're coming out here to spend some time with uh, with with, uh, with family farms. Uh, you know, this is going to be the this is such a huge part of our economic engine, and it's so, such a huge part of what's our, our 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 cultural belonging as a state. And so I'm just thrilled to be back out here in the Eastern Shore. Thrilled to be back out here over in Queen Anne's, and uh, and just knowing that with all the progress and all the work that we're doing as a state, this is this is about what are we doing with our family farms and not what we're doing to our family farms. And I think this is a, a, a perfect illustration where I'm here to listen and learn uh, and also know that we're going to be taking all this information out as we're going and creating policy that's going to build for everybody. So we're learning about preservation today. We're visiting Queens County and Kent. But growing up, did you get to, to experience the farm life at all? <laughs> I did not. No? This is, this, this, is a, this is a new experience for me. And But you know, it, it's one of the things that I just, I love our state. I love the fact that our state is so unbelievably interesting and diverse and, 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 and has so much pride. You know, as we're spending time with the families here, there's a, the idea that you can have generations, generations of families who are involved inside this work. And it plays such a huge part in the growth and the celebration of our state. And so yeah. while this is uh, while a lot of this stuff is relatively new <laughs> to me, it's very much being incorporated into my thinking about why I'm so excited about the future of the state. <laughs> well, Governor Moore, have fun today. Enjoy your tour. Thank you so much. It's such an honor. It's so good to be back in Eastern Shore, as always. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you so it's much. Great seeing you again. It's so good to see you. It's great. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank